All right, here we go. I'll just get right into it because this music is a headache. This is better. All right, Luke. All right, Scott. Come on. I've got hiccups. Oh no. 2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Waste Management Phoenix Open is about to kick off. Luke, I'll be back in the booth with my boy Rich Beam and Beamer. We're at the place which has the famed stadium hall. We're at TPC Scottsdale. And well, it's the loudest showing golf, isn't it? It's the greatest show on grass, there's no doubt. When players are at this course, the course kind of speaks for itself. It's pretty much right in front of you. There's a couple of tricky shots here and there, a couple of really tough holes. Number seven and eight back to back come to mind. A few stretches there is difficult, but the difficult thing about playing here is the distractions, the crowds, the enormity of them, the yelling, the screaming, it's endless and in order to play this golf course effectively you almost need to put in earplugs because you need to focus on what you're doing but the distractions are out there every hole all day long what's it like to step foot in the stadium hole it's incredible you feel like everybody is standing right on top of you and the last thing you want to do is hear the boos and so you really focus in on hitting the green to hear the cheers and they're going to cheer for you when you do something good but they're going to let you have it if you do something bad it can be a very stressful place to play if you're not accustomed to that but you can also have a lot of fun with it if you like to get on that one can't wait to find out what happens here well thank you for joining me <laughs> at this uh, Waste Management Phoenix Open Tour Golf game. Apparently, the crowd, you almost can't, can't, you can't control them. They're just, they're just wild. They're insane. They don't shut up. Look at them. Untamable. Drives heading for the fairway in my And eyes. bounce. Ah, I don't that way. Luke, do not buy any lottery tickets tonight. You're absolutely wrong where that golf shot ended up. Yeah, you didn't see this Did one coming, though. No? Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Not a bad approach, that one. Shot. Inside the booty range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. There's a long way, but I tell you what. I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Oh, oh so close. I'm, I'm going to try and not like use the line. Forward, five footer to me. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Starting the round at even par. <coughs> Remember to watch out for that crowd. The second hole at TPC Scottsdale is a mid-range par four, playing 442 yards from the tips. The bunkers on the right side need to be avoided, which leaves a good mid to short iron approach to a green that is bunkered front, left and right. So a good accurate approach required. That probably could have been worse. Well, that's a handy shot from about 100 yards. That was slow. Choosing the nine iron here. That was probably in my favour. Yeah, nicely played. And this putt is from birdie three on the scorecard. All right, without the line. Looking really good 
this one. Oh. Right by the hole. This is a par putt. And down it goes. Well, it was an honest four. And now intrepid on course reporter John standing by. Uh oh. This is Sergio Garcia's next shot. Make sure you get both the line and the speed right here. It's a long part. Go in. Well, that'll help you move up the leaderboard. And he dances his way to the top ten after that delightful shot. With that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Yeah, what are you trying to say? The third here at Scottsdale plays over 550 yards from the tips. It's a strong par five, which requires two big what? shots to get to the green. The first shot needs to avoid that bunker on the left hand side to give you a chance to go for the green. But if you're laying up, it's laying it back to a number between those two bunkers that sit on the left side of this fairway around 150 to 100 yards out. <clears throat> well, Rich, I feel like this is a bit of a rhetorical question, but what's your favourite part of the waste management at Phoenix Open? All of it. There's not a single thing that I don't love about it. I find it, since I first started coming here in 1999, to be an absolute, I don't want to say circus, because that's not the right word, but this is a social gathering. I once saw a guy, Luke, Go walking on. around in a jumpsuit made of pennies. <gasps> made of pennies. That is You're what kidding me. What. But in 1999, I saw this guy and thought, you know what? This tournament's a little different than the rest. As we've seen throughout the years, that's exactly Why? what it's turned into. I mean, this is just a Tell me more about the man wearing the jumpsuit made of pennies. The players embrace it. They love it. They get it. They get into it by throwing stuff in the crowd on 16, wearing jerseys, dressing up, getting into the action, getting into the fun, if you will. It's, it's unlike any other golf tournament. Whoa. Know, it should be. This is a special event in a special place. The wow. The gets a lot of the focus. Of a 500,000 fans through the gates through the course of the week. But for all the partying, all the fun and frivolity that takes place, there's a fair bit of serious work that gets down to the, the end, isn't there? Well, they, they're playing for a lot of money, a lot of FedEx Cup points, as we know. But listen, these guys are out there to compete and win. But they don't lose the, the one atmospheric part about it, and that is everybody is out there to be entertained. And that's what they're trying to do, entertain them. Make a lot of birdies if you can, because that's what it takes. You gotta make birdies to win this tournament. Whether this week is going to be delicious, go get them. Well, hold. Let's move on. Well, that was that was something. That was definitely something. So, no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. You just said. The par three fourth at TPC Scottsdale plays 183 yards. Fairly straightaway hole, but bunkers again, front, left, and short right, requires a pretty accurate and solid strike. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Come back down. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Let's recap Ian Poulter's effort from earlier today. He's a long way away, but he's feeling it today. Well, that's a very well-judged putt there. He missed. John, have you got a read on this one? Looks like about 22 feet uh, to the hole. Bum, 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 bum. <clears throat> Looks like it's All right, without the line. Nope. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> and that will take him to one under. 
the leader now has a one stroke advantage. The fifth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a strong par four, playing 470 yards from the back tees. There's a big bunker down the right hand side that'll catch any drive not hit with authority. The approach must be accurate with the bunker on the left hand side. Ah! Missed here will be punished. Off the hill, off the hill, off the hill, off the hill. Come on. Right up in the canopy of the trees. Mm. Well, I know that we're in the booth and not right up close to it, but it doesn't take a smart person to work out. That's not a nice lie. He's going to have to go down after this one, try and dig it out as best he can. And I've done it. Shush. John, do you have any Oh, do we? Down must we? This is Sergio Garcia setting up his next shot. Oh, what's that? Oh, I, uh, oh we'll never know. And back to the course with the live action. Playing from 110 yards out. Just three back from the leader. That's going in, that is. That's a pretty handy shot. Ah, oh, come on. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. That's well hold. Now three strokes back after that hole. I'm getting I'm getting more used to him, I guess. The sixth hole at DPC. It's an honest victory. Solid mid range par four. Four hundred and thirty two off the back tees. Again, it's more position off the tee that's required here with the bunkers on the left hand side. A bold player is to fly it over that bunker on the left and leave just a short wedge in. Bold players will get off this hole and say strategy lays back before them. Oh, that looked like a bit of an ugly swing there. No, it's going to bounce. Into the bunker. Time to play from the bunker. Yeah. Whatever. Keep going. Do be do be do. Well, the putter's going to be coming out of the bag, but it's still going to be a long way from the hole. Lining up the birdie putt here. Just didn't drop. A good opportunity here. Just six feet to the hole. I like that kind of fight. That shows resilience. In the bunker with their tee shot, and that is a very good save. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. The seventh here at Scottsdale is a par three measuring 215 yards from the back tees. A straightaway hole, but bunkers left and right of this green ensure that a nice straight shot is required. No. Nope. have chosen the three wood. Let's start to head back down to the fairways. Oh, up, come on, man. Nah, blah, 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 blah. Let's return to live play now. Time for the second shot here at the seven. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Opportunity to make their par. Ooh, nice line. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Now, three strokes back after that hole. The eighth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a very strong par four, playing over 475 yards from the back tee. There's a couple of pot bunkers down the left-hand side that need to be avoided so you can get to the green in two. If you're going hard here, there's a tree on the right-hand side that can prevent a good second shot or a line to the green. Two well-struck shots required to get to this green, and even then, your par's not secure. Oh, a sigh of relief. Happy to be putting again. 
This putt is to move inside the all important top ten. Oh shit. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. The finishing hole on the front nine at TPC Scottsdale was a par four, measuring 453 yards from the back tees. There's plenty of room off the tee to the left, just so you can avoid that bunker on the right. There's a bunker short of the green here that needs to be avoided, a short little pot bunker. But two solid shots here will allow a chance for a birdie. That should find the surface. Oh, that's well played. And a chance for birdie here at the ninth. This is a good chance. A well hold. He'll take the birdie. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 Do you sense them making a charge? Three down, nine to go. This player is going to have to start taking some chances. If yeah, I haven't spoken win. much because, yeah, I'm focusing. I am definitely concentrating. Measuring just 428 yards from the tips. It's a huge bunker down the right side of this fairway, which suggests maybe less than driver is necessary off the tee. What you want to do is set up for a good angle of approach, though. There's a couple of pot bunkers to the short right of this green and a big one to the front left to be avoided. Yeah, but I... Can I? Can I land it over here? Off the path, go on. Keep going. <laughs> no, that's exactly what I wanted. It's exactly what I wanted. Oh, well done. And this part to move into a tie for fourth place. It's got a chance. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. <laughs> he currently shares fourth position. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. Yeah. The 11th is a par four, playing 472 yards and a huge water hazard down the left hand oh, side. Oh no. The best line is a drive as close to that water without taking it on. Anything that leaves about 150 to 170 yards in will give you a chance to set up birdie. No water hazard. Oh no, 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 no. I'll go this way. I'm, I'm going this way. You can say what you like. That's what and I wanted. Go to the 12th with this happened just a moment ago. Ian Poulter with an outstanding shot here. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Go on, Ian. Uh, I didn't push anything. <sighs> I didn't push anything. I wasn't even here. I was in the moon. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Yeah. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Ooh, back there, horsey. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't right, great. John. How's this putt looking? Oh, guys, this looks like it's about 21 feet to the hole. Wow, that's misjudged. Yeah, I, I didn't. Is that right? And down she goes. Oh, well, there goes my one under. It's fine. It's fine. The 12th fine. TPC Scottsdale is a par three, measuring 192 yards off the back tees. 
not much to this hole except the bunkers left to, to be avoided although water can sneak in on the right up near the green if anything is slightly pushed not a bad approach grab the putter from the caddy you're dancing slim chance here for birdie but you never know this putt for inside the top five on the leaderboard No. Okay, steady now. Nine foot chance here. Well, I'm doing it in no line, so you know. Oh, wonderful effort! Confirms the par. Let's head over to the 18th hole, shall we? Why? From about 130 yards here. Pretty good win. Back into the player's face. So I might need to sit. Yes, Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. <coughs> Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Come on now. Eight days a week that rhythm works. Two wins so far this season. Going with a three wood here. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. This is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? This looks like around 29 feet. What? You thought I was bad. Okay, let's get back to the action. Good chance to take it even deeper here. This putt's for four under. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. All right, what do you reckon? We use one line. But not enough. Nah. Is that a good line? Good putters will make these. Right on five feet. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And with that, we'll move to three under par. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Gotta like it. The 14th is a strong par four, almost measuring 500 yards from the back tees. The bunker that sits in the fairway should be covered. Anything around 190 to 200 yards out will give you a green light to go for this flag, although a four here never hurts. Well, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. Time for the second shot at the 14th. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, oh. Looks to be going with the six iron. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here important part here they make it they're into the top five. Oh, this looks pure well nicely done holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies and i like it two in a row <sighs> he's in a share of third place always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard never a bad thing we're getting there. The 15th is a very important hole. The par 5, 553 yards from that tees. Either makes or breaks around here at TPC Scottsdale. 
that huge penalty area to the left is to be avoided if you're to make a decent score. A good drive will allow you to go for this island green in two. Although if you're too far back, no point taking it on as there's water everywhere to collect your ball. Laying up to the 115, 20 yard marker will give you just an easy wedge here and a chance to still make your birdie. Sitting at four under for the day, currently tied for third position. Going with the five wood. This one should find the rough. No, that's all right. And here we are with the third shot. Only one shot off the pace. Okay, phase one complete. Uh, you've got to make a good putt here. And this putt to move into a tie for second. Yes, three holes to go. This is getting to be a nail biter. Is this the time to use the line? Nah. Just get in there. The putt drops now at five under, heading down the stretch. They're going to have to dig deep to pull this one out. Let's see what they got. And Justin Thomas currently. What do you reckon? Welcome to the jungle, or as they call it here at TPC Scottsdale, the Stadium Hole Par 316. Oh, it's I know this hole. Club, the green. This is where they make the noise. Have a look at Tony Fee now. And this putt to move into first place on the leaderboard. Looking really good. That's outstanding. What a putt. Step aside, everyone else. Now well, oh, I'll, I'll just leave, shall I? And back to the course with the live action. And back this to this loser with whatever he is attempting to do. Yeah, I misread it. Now, these are the kind of putts that bring out the best in players. Do you think this person's clutch? We're certainly going to find out momentarily. There's the line. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, nope. And, uh, you. All right, no more lines. The penultimate hole at TPC Scottsdale is an absolute beauty. Do you go for it or lay up? A drive here that's just slightly pulled will find the hazard to the left. But if you're short right, a chance to get up and down for your birdie and really push for the title. You know I'm going for it. What kind of rhythm is that? It must be tough falling out of bed every day with a rhythm like that. I'm pretty sure that was a compliment. Wow, Rich. That's impressive. Absolutely, Luke. Trailing by two. You can tie the lead if should they make the putt. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Get in. Oh. oh gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? But in for birdie. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And that will move into six under par. I tell you what, there's been some great golf being played all over the course. Let's have a look at this. Ian Porter comes up with a beauty. No, oh, Ian again. This is his third. You suck. Well, that was an absolute beauty, Rich. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Justin Thomas is our current leader. Mm. 
Clear by two. Oh well, we can get second, maybe. What is this in the water? Anything out to those bunkers on the right will leave a good angle approach. And once you hit this shot, make sure you get up the right area on the uh -oh. uh oh. Uh oh. That's gonna fall in the water, sadly. Getting ready to you know I do. That's my thing. From our leader. Looks to be going with the five iron. That's not the outcome they're after. Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault missing the green. No. Now this is a spot they need to get up and down from. Just two strokes off the lead. A little excitement going on right now. I don't want to drop any more shots. Let's make this for double. One of the good guys out there, Luke. I am hoping for this one to fall. <sighs> That's frustrating. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. Well, they've put a few points on the board there, Rich, with that performance. They did. Overall, it was a good week. Our kids say it was spectacular, but a nice, solid week and a nice, solid finish in the top ten. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now. I'm not happy. Of course I'm not happy. So near game. Oh well, we're still in. We'll uh, we'll try our best next time. Oh look, we completed our contract straight away. Well, there's always that. That's what you call waste management. Alright, next time.